Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, February 18, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly here today. We are well above the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are looking very bullish at this point. So it is more than likely that we'll go to the top of the bullish band here roughly 91.35 where we'll find uh, quite a lot of resistance that is also the previous highs here and uh, if we manage to break that then yes then we're going higher otherwise we'll most likely pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average down here at around 90.60 so yes if this continues and these uh, indicators and they are basically showing that we are most likely going to continue to higher levels so let's look at oil So oil continues to rally and rally and rally. At the moment, we are trading at 61.61. We're getting very close to the top of the bullish band here. In the daily chart, oil is at 84. And uh, considering the shape of the world economy and so on, that just sounds ridiculous to be um, significantly overbought at this stage. Usually when uh, you have... Um, basically recession or, or economic downturn, you see oil down in basically in 25, 28, give or take, and we're at 61. So something is not right here, um, And uh, but still, you can just focus on the fundamentals or you can just focus on where the price action is leading us. And at the moment, price action is leading us much, much higher. But we are getting very, very overstretched. This should be a massive warning to everybody that's thinking about buying into this at the moment. This could break down very easily towards the 20 exponential, roughly 56 and so on. But in the long run at the moment, because we have crossed the 60 and well above 60, and we haven't had a major pullback, we're most likely going to 65. So we could have a pullback here and it goes and then go to 65. So 20 exponential is the bottom of the market. Every single time we have basically gotten close to it, we have rallied substantially. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we continue to rally. We are at 3.069, well above 3. And we're most likely heading towards 3.25 at this stage. And then probably to 3.5. Um, well, weather conditions in the United States, they are, they are very cold. Texas is under, under, under uh, snow. And uh, yes, that will increase demand and that will also make this go even higher. So at the moment, 20 exponential is the bottom of the market. When we pull back from here, it has been bouncing off the 20 exponential. So pullbacks towards the 20, that is basically buying opportunity at the moment. But keep in mind, as long as weather conditions are as they are now, then yes, demand will increase. But as soon as the weather conditions uh, become warmer, then you will see a significant fall in demand and this price will also fall simultaneously. So technical indicators are very bullish. So at this point, pullbacks are buying opportunities. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have run into quite a lot of resistance here. Uh, this could have could basically be that we are significantly overstretched here. We have been outside of the bullish band now for quite some time. We're on the edge of being overbought and technical indicators are turning around. Um, yes, it is basically about time that we roll around here and head towards at least 3.75 or the 20 exponential, which was also the previous high. So we're here. So 20 exponential is 3.7. There will be quite a lot of buying occurring here. Long-term target here is four. So let's look at gold. Sorry. There we go. So as you can see, gold just fell off a cliff today. We are, at the moment, we are expecting a pullback from here. But still, the 20 exponential, the 50, 200 moving average, all of them are acting as resistant, not support. So this will most likely go lower. So we have a major resistant line 
right here. We are very far away from that resistance line. And then we have a support line right about the, this area here. So at this point, we could fall towards the bottom of the resistance line. We saw it here, here, and we could go all the way down, get, rather, get it higher. We could go all the way down towards 1650. That's how low gold it could go. If we break above this resistance line, which is uh, at the moment looking not very probable, we have all the moving averages here and the resistance line, and every single time we have basically gotten close to it, we have basically broken down right here. We did break through here, and then we just completely collapsed. But you can just see when we rally up towards this resistance line, we break down. Rally up towards the resistance line, we also break down. So that is the trend at this moment. We are slowly going further uh, to the downside. If we break 70, uh, 1750, then we're heading very fast towards 1700. So at this moment, rallies are actually selling opportunities. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, bouncing off the 20 exponential. We did the same today. We basically fell towards the 20 exponential at around 26.87, and then we rallied. Taking it together, they are actually fairly flat and bearish at this point. So we could stay here. It could be very choppy, the, uh, choppy uh, but long-term target is most likely we're heading up to $30. We did have this massive move to the upside, but that was, as I understand it, the Reddit, the, the Reddit gang that basically pushed this price of silver significantly higher, and then it basically collapsed. But we are gradually going higher towards $30. That is most likely what is going to happen here in this market. So let's look at platinum. There we go. So uh, platinum did fall significantly yesterday and then it continued the falling today until we basically rallied and created this hammer. But I think that we are going to see this go lower, probably 1200 and then to the 20 exponential moving average. If we get down to this level, then there will most likely be a lot of buyers uh, entering the market here. You can see the technical indicators are turning around. We're still at 67 in the RSI, but CCI, CCI and Stochastic are turning around and the MACD is looking also like it's turning around. So we may, may have a move towards a 20 exponential before we going higher from here. So let's look at Pallium. So we are, we have found resistance here at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are trading in a uh, Square here with well, the highs of 2.5 and the very lows here of roughly 2.2. And at the moment, we have touched the bottom a uh, few two weeks ago, and now we have rallied, found resistance, and now we're heading back towards the 50 moving average. So we could stay here for some time until we rally towards the top or basically break towards the bottom. There's only two areas where I would enter this market is either at the very top here in order to sell or the very bottom here in order to buy. So let's look at aluminium. So we have gone significantly higher today. I was expecting this to, to basically break down towards the 20 exponential, but we went flat and then we just absolutely went bananas to the upside. We're trading at 20.97 at the moment. We are significantly overbought on the edge of being uh, outside of the Bollinger Band, and these technical indicators are still looking very bullish. So we could have an additional day where we rally to the upside, but we are getting very, very stretched here and could see this market tumble to the downside at any point. So let's look at nickel. So also here, we did rally up towards the 20, uh, no, the top of the bullish band, sorry. And uh, you can see the technique is going to slowly turning around. That could be an indication that we are slowly going back towards the 20 moving, uh, 20 exponential moving average, which also would make quite a lot of sense because that's also the previous highs here. 
So this area would act as support and then we'll bounce towards the upside. So if we fall towards the 20 exponential and turn around here, then yes, that could be a possible buying opportunity. At the moment, target will most likely be uh, 19,000. So let's look at um, and sugar. So we have rallied quite significantly today. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We are at 64 at the RSI, so there's still room to the upside. But usually when you go this far outside of the Bollinger Band, you have something looking something similar to this, where you have two or three days where you go back towards the 20 exponential before you rally again. We are in uptrend. We are getting fairly overstretched at the moment. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 0 0.1620, that is uh, very likely at this point. So let's look at cotton. So cotton as well, it has rallied significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. We have been here for quite some time now. We are at 74 in the, in the RSI. This is more a parabolical move to the upside, trading at 0 0.8969 at this point. So a move back towards 0 0.85, that would make quite a lot of sense. So this is just about the 20 exponential. And uh, yes, that is most likely what could occur here because we're getting very, very overstressed. Other technical indicators are either flat or very bullish at this point. So let's look at cocoa. So we continue towards the downside. We are trading at the highs here, 2.8, and the lows here at 2.2. And it looks like we are gradually going towards the 2.2. And uh, if that breaks, then we can go all the way down to 2.087. So there should be demand for this commodity in the coming, uh, basically, weeks and months. But we're not seeing that at this stage. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We're on the edge of being oversold. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band. So a pullback towards the 200 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average, uh, that is a selling opportunity at this stage. However, this has been a market that has been all over the place for a very long time now. And uh, yes, it is very risky to trade this market. So let's look at wheat. So we did rally yesterday, went quite high all the way up towards 659. And today we completely collapsed towards that 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still very bearish. So we'll probably stay here for a while. If we break below the 50, then we could head all the way down to 600. Um, we are entering the warmer period of the of the year so demand uh, supply should be increasing and prices should be falling uh, at this stage so we probably could see this go gradually to the downside this was quite a rejection of this rally here so a break below the 50 that could open the door to much lower levels so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to write to me on patreon if you have any questions otherwise good luck and thank you very much Thank you.